ask you something? Go ahead. How long has it been since you've taken that off? Yesterday. I mean, in front of someone else. I wasn't much older than they are. You haven't shown your face to anyone since you were a kid? No. I was happy that they took me in. My parents were killed, and the Mandalorians took care of me. I'm sorry. This is the way. The Mandalorian the Star Wars based TV series streaming on Disney Plus based on the characters by George Lucas and composed by Ludwig Gerenson starring Pedro Pascal as the Mandal Mandalorian Gina Carreno Carl Weathers Werner Herzog and Nick Nolte When I first heard of this show I thought it was a standalone movie based on the Boba Fett character but as it turns out he's just one of many bounty hunters that heads along this journey introducing new characters and old or even young in this case. It's just a good little guy. It's just so cute but dirty. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. The story of the Mandalorian is created by John Favreau, who is already familiar with Disney. I'm sure a bunch of the audience is familiar with him. I think it's really exciting to have a live-action Star Wars show, which will be our first. Hey, let's make the baby do the magic hand thing. Come on, baby. Do the magic hand thing! I'm oh, really impressed you. with the atmosphere and the, the just the way it, the dark and gritty westerny type of feel we get, which is much of what we see in um and the first source film, the original uh, A New Hope, and it's just really nice to see it be more kind of a laid back. Star Wars film and then not have it be so polished and you know much like the prequels and then the the recent sequels that we've gotten um I really much prefer this style of film for a Star Wars film anyway because I like some westerns and I just like the balance between the two of it being sci-fi and then also having like a western -y feel if that makes sense I think the cast is really good here um and even though you know, the Mandalorian doesn't say much, uh, what he does say is delivered well, and then, um, the co-stars, and, you know, even Baby Yoda, I'm glad that they kept, uh, Yoda along for the ride, literally, because, like, it makes it that much more entertaining, and it gives, you know, the Mandalorian some, something to react to, you know, even though you can't see his reactions, because his face is covered, but still, someone to interact with, I guess, and, um, you know, also, I'm not a huge fan of the new Star Wars films, Force Awakens was okay, and The Last Jedi was pretty good, I thought, um, which I mentioned in my review for it, um, I don't know if buy or anything, but then, uh, I love the original trilogy, and I liked the prequels growing up, which now I don't so much, but then, I really did like Rogue One, I thought that was a really unique Star Wars film and, and introduced all new characters. I really like that a lot. And then, um, I really do like the Mandalorian show a lot too, as well, because it's like, you know, it's introducing these new characters, um, even though we're familiar with, you know, the bounty hunter with Boba Fett, it's a new character altogether. It was just the same outfit, you know, armor. Um, so that's interesting to me. And I like to see more of that thrown in and not just characters that we've seen a dozen times before. Um, so I'd like to see what the other series or seasons have to offer.